What I'm going to do now is build a portfolio of generation assets. So th this will be a portfolio we can use for all of our examples for the next few units we're going to do. So I'm going to build a portfolio uh, of different kinds of plants. We're going to have a large baseload fossil fuel power station. We'll call it Big Fossil. Uh, we'll have a small peaker plant, say a combustion turbine or a diesel generator, uh, a solar project, and some load reduction. So we can think about this as either load shedding or demand reduction or even private behind the meter generation. So let's go ahead and build a portfolio. To do that, we're going to have some common elements in each of the, uh, for, for all, running through all these examples. Uh, we're going to have a market interest rate of 7%. Uh, the term of the loan for each of these facilities is going to be 30 years, and this is just for simplicity, of course. Um, it's clear that for much smaller installations, we would probably choose a lower uh, length of contract. But I want to put all of our generation assets on uh, in the same terms for the purposes of our example. So we're going to assume, uh, assume a 30-year loan, 360 months, for each of our new assets in figuring out our, our fixed costs. Uh, a month is assumed to have 720 hours. Uh, fossil fuel cost is $2.50 per million BTU. So uh, what we're saying essentially is that coal and natural gas, uh, all of our fossil fuel resources uh, if we think about them in terms of their energy content, uh, they cost the same for the given energy content. For, for combustion plants, the heat rate is assumed to be constant for any capacity factor. And so again, the way we want to think about that is, is we're going to run these plants in their sort of ideal engineering range. And so we expect the heat rate to be uh, pretty much as low as possible for the range of operation uh, that we're going to use for these power plants. So we're going to assume a constant heat rate. It makes our examples much simpler. And each type of plant has a preferred capacity factor. And of course, the preferred capacity factor is going to depend on lots of things. It's going to depend on the ramp rate. It's going to depend on the variable costs. It's going to depend on lots and lots of characteristics of the plant. And as we go through each of our four example plants, we'll think about what is the likely capacity factor that we would design this plant for. What would our plan be for the use of this power plant? 